Hello everyone, welcome once again to another driving tutorial. We are very excited to share this valuable information to make you a better driver. Today we will be focusing on how to park a car in a parking spot between two cars. I've been getting requests on making a video about this once again and explaining a little bit more in detail because it's a huge concern when it comes to taking the driver examination. There are a few people that are about to take this exam and still haven't mastered this technique. We will show you how to park a car safely step by step. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video. Learning how to park a car in a parking space can be challenging for beginners and it could be one of the most difficult things to learn for some of you. With that being said, it doesn't mean it's impossible. We will show you guys step by step how to do it the easy way. And all we need from you is to memorize this and practice as much as you can. We will provide a few techniques that you can use when practicing. By doing so, it will become much easier when you have a few steps to follow. Normally, we have two ways of parking, to the left or to the right. When parking to the left, it's usually easier for the driver since you are driving on the right side of the road and have a bigger angle and more space to make the turn. Here we are showing the student driving on the right side pulling up to make a left-handed parking. When we are doing this, the first thing you have to keep in mind is that you always have to put the blinkers on to the side you want to park as you are seeing on the screen. We are making a parking to the left. Then you want to slow down as you are approaching the parking spot and make sure your left mirror is aligned with the first white line. This is very important since this maneuver will determine what we want to accomplish. Once the mirror is aligned with the white parking line, you have to make a full stop. And remember, the turn signal needs to be on while doing this. Then turn your steering wheel all the way to the left and let go of the brakes very slowly. When doing this maneuver, you never want to press the accelerator. There is no need. Always your foot on the brake pedal. It's very important. Once you release the brakes, you will notice that the car will start slowly to turn and make way to the parking spot. At this time, you want to make corrections as you're pulling up. Once you are stabled and centered, Inside the parking, pull up very slowly until your front wheel touches the parking bumper. Or another technique you can use is if you have cars next to you, use them as a reference point and align your mirrors next to theirs. Always remember to do the entire parking maneuver slowly, giving you time to correct for mistakes, especially when performing the practice test. You must keep this in mind. Now, let's go ahead and do a quick review of what we have discussed so far about left-handed turn into a parking space. First, pull up on the right side of the road and place the left turn signal. Second, align your driver or left side mirror with the white marking and make a full stop. Keep in mind that this technique applies if you are driving a normal four-sided or two-door sedan. Now, if you're driving an SUV or a truck, you want to align the front wheel with the white marking instead of the mirror. That way, it will give you more room for the turn since you're driving a larger car. Third, turn the steering wheel all the way to the left and release the brake slowly. 
always keeping your foot on the brake at all times. While doing this maneuver, start correcting while the car is entering the parking spot and make a full stop once the front wheel touches the parking bumper and don't forget to put the car in parking. This is very important in the exam. The examiner is looking for this and wants to make sure you do it correctly. Great, now we're going to discuss how to perform a right-handed parking. Keep in mind that these are a little bit more complex due to poor angle ratio. On these instances, as you are approaching the parking spot, you have to create an angle by turning your car to the left and getting on the opposite lane. Obviously, you want to make sure there are no cars coming or heading your way. Let me show you. Let's review this. As you're approaching the right-handed parking maneuver, activate the turn signal to the right and pull up slowly. Then align the front wheel with the first white markings of the parking spot you wish to park. In this case, we're using the front wheel due to the car size we are using. This is a medium-sized car. If you're using a smaller car, you will align it with the mirror. In case you're using a bigger car like an SUV or a truck, then you want to align the front bumper with the white park markings to give you more room for the turn. Make a full stop and turn your steering wheel all the way to the right and release the brakes very slowly. Last step is to make corrections and start aligning the car to the center of the parking spot. Once the front wheels touches the parking bumper, then you place the car in parking as you are done. Here's my advice to you guys. Start practicing on an empty parking lot. And as you get more familiar doing this maneuver, then you can take it and practice between two cars to help you gain more confidence and prepare you for the driving examination. Well guys, I hope this was very helpful. Our goal is for you to pass the driving exam the first time and make you a better and safer driver. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the next one.